brother in film was, but you know, felt like it was just in his blood. Um, Clifton's not remotely like Nathan at all. I mean, he's a pretty fun-loving, like, happy guy. Um, he doesn't, he doesn't kill when he's around me. So, you know, watching Clifton was interesting and watching Rich and him prepare. I mean, it was, like I said, he's so meticulous with notes and how he practices. I mean, the other thing too, we shot at this motel for five days and it really isn't a nice place by, at all. Um, and early on, I remember, I can't remember who came up to me, I was like, so Clifton wants to stay here for the week. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, Clifton wants to move up here, so he doesn't have to commute every day. It was like, you know, a 45 minute, hour long drive. He just wants to stay here. And sure enough, like, Clifton moved so much shit up to, up to the motel. I go into his room, he's got like eight guitars, all his incense and candles, and he's like, made it home. Um, so that's how he prepares. It was also a, a way to stay in that character's headspace, because it was such a shitty place to know that that's your home, and that's, you know, I, I could be in jail next, I could be in so many other places, so there was just a, a whole psychology that comes with uh, the finality of knowing that the end is near, that I wanted to absorb, in case you didn't know that. <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> God, <I'm sorry. laughs> Question. Clifton, I want to ask you, I mean, you've been in over 118 movies. Is it 118 credits to his name? Is that right? I think so. <laughs> character a, a challenge um, the, the the actors that I, the actors and crew and director um, the people I get to work with um, uh, being able to collaborate in that family type environment that just feels like so organic and we like what we had it's, it's a very beautiful experience and process um, but I, I definitely love to be challenged I, I like to play things that I've never done before and also um, something that's really intriguing is just uh, the landscape and the world and being able to have an opportunity to really delve and explore other cultures and worlds and, and things like that. I mean, I think it would have been to have an opportunity to play Rich's role, that that would give me the green light to delve deeply into that world. That would have been really fun. But, you know, I'm still a, an audience member, so to speak, in this particular film. Something that was intimidating for me with Clifton is, you know, you look at his credits and it's, you can list out right now your top 10 favorite filmmakers who kind of inspire you and Clifton's worked with all of them. I mean, it's ridiculous. And so for me, it was intimidating because no matter what, it was gonna be, you know, well, you're no, you know, Soderbergh or, or Malik. Malik. yeah, any of these guys. And so I was like, so I was like, this is, Asian you a bit. Um, uh, but, you know, it, it was great for me because I ended up just asking Cliff a lot about like how certain filmmakers work and, you know, for me it was great because I was able to pull from his experiences on past films. Um, and I really felt like I, I learned a lot of that in that regard. So we lost one more question. What are you working on next? <coughs> Um, I'm actually um, hatching a script idea right now with Trevor White over here. Um, I'm working with his company, and we're uh, coming up with, with a thing that I pitched that uh, hopefully will be maybe in this theater in a year and a half, maybe? A year. We'll say a year. This is the follow up crooked, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm working on next. So. Um, well, oh, the films I've done since then? Yeah, Tarantino's film and then The Mule with Eastwood, which will be out in December. Um, and I did something for A24, which put out Moonlight, and they even called uh, The Wave, which I'm really excited about. Um, and then just directing music videos until I get the next gig. Uh, right now, it's mostly on the producing front. Um, I don't have my next 
directing gig lined up, but uh, I have a movie coming out next month that uh, a couple, one person here worked on, Brian Schofield, uh, called Welcome Home with Emily Ratajkowski and Aaron Paul. It's a thriller, it's set in Italy, it's really fun. Um, we just wrapped a movie called Villains, and then next next uh, spring we're going into production of two movies. So. So thank you, Trevor, thank you, Clifton, and thank you, Andrew. Thank you.